Good morning, all. This is your girl, Natasha. And I was up having my morning coffee, watching my news as usual. And I said, well, let me stroll through YouTube. I saw a few notifications. And as I was passing, I saw Bama Girl. And I saw Miss X April's name and her title. Of course, you know I stand by Miss X April. She's one of the people I watch. And so I says, well, let me click and see what Miss Bama Girl has to say about X April. Well, of course, you know I can only take Bama Girl's loud mouth but so long. So I got the gist of it. And I cut it off because God knows she'll break the speakers in your phone or your 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 <laughs> your computer, whatever have you. Well, anyway, I wasn't surprised that she was coming for X April. I don't get it. I guess she's doing the work of Five Babe. You know, Five Babe's busy protecting her babe nation, crack nation, whatever you people call it. So I wasn't surprised. I said that's the work of um, probably the work of the Bama girls doing for Five Babe. You know, I tend to have noticed that Bama girl can be a do girl herself. Even though she's loud and obnoxious and claims she's this and that. I've watched her a couple of times. Well, you know, Bama girl, let me tell you this. Now you people can say, well, like it's all been said that, okay, the men are jumping on the women. Or trans women like myself, is it fair to jump on a biological female. Well, now we have two biological females, Bama Girl and Axe April. <laughs> and the funny thing that I found amusing was that, number one, they were both born female. Number two, they both, it's a fair fight, if you all want to call it that. They're two women. And number three, yeah, I think they were going to attack Axe April. And James Caldwell warned April. And now what happens? Months later, it's coming out that it was a possibility that they were going to jump Bama girl, I mean jump Axe April, if she had went to that vacation. And then you all want to jump on James because he calls it. He's a Capricorn like God. And when we see the bullshit and we watch and observe because we're observers, Capricorn, so is Axe April. We observe and we catch the teeth. Well, anyway, what I think it is, is that Ask April is a beautiful woman, beautiful black woman, and she's into her makeup. She does her makeup um, videos, and she really tries to help women enhance their beauty. And I think that that's what they're jealous of. Okay, they use they use the um umbrella that um or the screen that um they don't like X April and what she does and and she's this and that. But the bottom line is they're jealous of X April. Mhm. Mm and I think because She's a light-skinned black woman. That's what it goes to. Just like Miss 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 Gina Red, 
she called it out. And this is what is going on with April. And I believe that that's what goes on with me as being a light-skinned black trans woman. Now, how can we control how we're born? My father's dark skin, my mother's light skin. I have some of these people miss science class about DNA and how it works. Have some people miss science class? And Bama Girl, of all people who's a mortuary or whatever you call it, mortician, I would think that she would know she had to take some science classes to know all this. Yeah, that's what's underneath all this. She's so angry with um, um, Ask April. It's color. It's racism right here on YouTube between in the beef sector. That's exactly what it is. And because Fire Babe is jealous of Ask April. And you know, Bama Girl has always been her do her do bitch. And and listening to Fire Babe's order, but back on her platform. You know, I thought Bama Girl, she could go far, but she's letting Fire Babe, I believe, allegedly, run her platform. Of course, she would deny it and read, and I know I'm going to get a read. Oh, that transgender, that transsexual, that ugly bitch, this and that and the other. Child, please, they called, they threw, they nailed Jesus Christ to the, um, cross so what makes you think they're not going to come for me who cares I'm just airing my opinion that's why they come for Axe April because she's a beautiful black woman and these particular women Bama girl and, and we know five babe they have a color issue mm-hmm, a really big color issue sometimes I think they don't want to be dark skin and that is so terrible within our black race that so many of us we come in different shapes and colors and so many of us hate each other because if some of us are lighter than the other that's all it boils down to all that crap Bama girl was talking it just boils down to that she doesn't like Ask April, and my belief is, allegedly, because Black Ask April is a nice-looking, light-skinned black woman. She's biracial. And whatever race she claims, she's biracial, and that's her right. And I think that that has been the whole problem, because... I think for the most part, Ask April identifies with her black side. So some of you women, oh, no, it's not that we don't accept her. Oh, hell, please. Nobody can born, help if they were born biracial. Please. No more than they can help if they felt they were born in the wrong body, such as I. And they do things about it to change that. Like they throw the narrative, oh, you're just getting started in your transition, this and that and the other, not even knowing the whole story. And I'm not, I wouldn't even begin to explain to those type of people about transitioning, okay? I pay that no mind. I'm a woman of a particular age. I don't have time for the BS. If you don't like it, keep it stepping. But I just had to, and I'm not inserting myself, because Axe April is well, well able to handle and read. But I just had to when I saw that 
I had to say something. It was on my spirit. And when things get on my spirit, in my spirit, I have to speak on it. And that's what it is. When I saw Bama Girl, I says, oh, my God. Yeah. Do bitch at it again. Loud mouth do bitch. Mm-hmm. You know, Bama Girl, maybe you could take some of those tips from Max April to help you look better. I think that's what it is. Why don't you black women, and I'm not talking about color. I'm talking about the race. Why don't you black women stop being so jealous and work on what you have? Work on enhancing that. As a trans woman, that's what I did. I watched my other biological girlfriends because there's no way being born male and then transitioning that you would know how to be a female or a woman or carry yourself like a woman, work, make up like a woman, unless you watch a woman. I've watched my mother growing up. My aunts, cousins, my best friends of biological women. So I've had all this in front of me to know how it is to present myself as a woman. But I'm talking about you biological women such as Bama Girl. Bama girl, instead of hating girl, because you know I've heard the shade thrown at you about your ugly, your teeth, this, that, and the other, why don't you try working on it? And the wigs and all that, all the shade that's been thrown at you, why instead of hating on Axe April, why don't you try to take tips to better your look? Well, I guess your voice, you're loud, so I don't know. Maybe you could lower it. But whatever the case may be, stop using the excuse of, with Miss April about this or that and the other or her not coming to vacation or whatever when the underlining issue is her looks and her race. That's all it is. The rest is a bunch of malarkey. Just an excuse. I mean, I don't understand it. They're all attacking Act. Uh, they're all attacking Axe April. Five babe attack Gina. Gina Red. And I think the same goes for Five Babe. I think that us light skinned women in the black race, we're discriminated against because we're light-skinned. So they view light skin as you think you're better than, which could be far from the truth, at least in my case, and I think Axe April and Gina. We love our blackness. We love our black race. What would I look like despising the color, the, the, the skin tone that I am and I took after my mother who I love dearly? That would be silly. That would be preposterous. And hating darker skin black people and my father's dark. I mean, that would be, like I said, preposterous. I love both my parents and I just took after my mother and her skin tone and that's that and I have what can I do I can't change being black and don't go there that oh you're trans you're a man this and that that still has nothing to do with it I transitioned I live my life as a woman as a transgender woman, black woman. And oh yes, we have problems within the LGBT community that I am 
going to get into, but I just had to, when I saw that and part of what Bama Girl was saying, I knew what it was, the underlining issue, jealousy. She's no better than that five babe. Okay, no better. I'm black race. I'm having a morning cigarette with my coffee. Our black race, especially the women, we've got to do better, or y'all have to do better. Stop hating. Stop using excuses for what you really want to say. Just like it's preposterous when Five Babe goes talking about James being black and whatever, and she's a black woman. What's the difference? And she wears that light makeup, may, trying to make herself lighter. I have cousins and friends who are the complexion of Five Bay. They wear the right foundation and they look fabulous. I would love to show one of my cousins pictures who's the exact same complexion as Fab as um Fab Babe. And even I have cousins who are the complexion of Bama Girl. When they wear makeup they get the their they get the foundation that's their color. They don't try to look lighter or darker. That's like me when I wear foundation, trying to get a lighter foundation to look white. Preposterous, I get my foundation color. What can I tell you? You black women need to do better on YouTube. Self-loathing is the biggest problem. And then five babes, she tries to throw shade at Brianna. Brianna Simone. For what? You were once overweight, I heard. What what's what does it what are you accomplishing throwing shade at Brianna Simone? Or anybody about her weight. Everybody has something. So what's the use of tearing down black women? This is what I'm saying. First it was, oh, the gay men are coming for the women. The women come for each other. And there's no excuse there because they were all born women. So what's the excuse of throwing shade at different people, other women that you feel have things that make fun of issues they have when you certainly have issues of your own? I don't get it. But once again, I know I'll be red talking about you're ugly, you need your teeth fixed, blah, blah, blah. Child, that stuff rolls off of me like sweat. Okay, I pay it no mind. But I just had to say, Miss Axe April, pay Bama girl no mind, girl. You know what her problem is, the underlining issues. Pay them no mind, okay? There's some lovely women here on YouTube. But I don't see them attacking them, okay? I don't. So I know they're full of malarkey. <laughs> Miss Tasha, you are on a roll. Mm, yes. So that's really all I had to say. I had to get that out off my chest. It was, it was on in my spirit, and I had to, you know, say something about it. Well, anyway, all. That's all I had to say. And. Be proud to be black. That's all I have to say. No matter what color you are, you women, 
certain ones that I've referred to. Be proud of who you are, your race. Like I said, it's racism within our, in this sector. And that's another thing. I stand alone. I'm on my platform. I'm no longer in a house or a group. No. Mm -mm. But when I go visit different channels, I'm whatever their group is called for the time being. Okay. And so, like I said, Bama girl, stop acting like you really have a big issue with X April when we know the underlying issue. Get it together, girl. Stop being a do bitch. Okay? That voice alone, you should be stand alone and stop being a do bitch. And X April, you continue to be your lovely, sweet self. And don't let these women that attack you get you all uptight. Pray them no mind. Continue to be the beautiful black woman that you are. Okay, my darling. Miss Gina said it best. They can't take it. Okay. They can't take Miss Gina's loveliness. Okay, they can't take the fact that Miss Gina's had nine children and still gives you body, body, body. They can't take it. Did you notice Fly Babe got up there, took him out of diet after Gina was reading her and showing pictures of her body after having all her children? Come on. Knock it off. Love yourself, women. Love yourself. <laughs> As I love myself, my transness, my race, my color. Okay. Well, that's all I have to say. Let me get back to Good Morning America. It's news. It's other things going on out there in the world to pay attention to. <laughs> So you all have a nice day, and I shall be back. I want to start, I guess, phasing and serving refreshments and having a little tea party with you guys. But with this COVID, I'm scared, but it's coming soon. <laughs> and I want to do a live that's coming soon, too. I'm getting my little computer fixed and things of that nature. I think I'm ready to do my first live. Mm-hmm. I see Uncle Tim enjoys the lives now. So I want to do a couple of lives. Anyway, all, I will see you next time, and you have a lovely day. And Miss April, keep your head up high, my darling. They can't take you. That's the whole problem. They're weak. <laughs> anyway, talk to you later. Mwah. Love you guys.